What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about an extension that allows you to create dynamic components within SketchUp, specifically for modeling different objects within openings in SketchUp. And before I get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. I wanna take a second and thank my newest supporters. So big thank you to Scott Stab, Alexander Dan Bauer, and Steve Nunley. Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of supporting the show on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week, my patrons voted, and the extension that we selected was Flex Tools. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Flex Tools. Plugin developer, FlexTools.cc. Plugin cost, around 33 US dollars for one component or 114 US dollars for all components. Where can you get it? You can get it by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash flex tools. Please note this is an affiliate link. Tool functions. Flex tools is a series of opening creation tools built on top of SketchUp's dynamic components engine. Basically what that means is that this extension contains responsive objects that scale and adjust to openings automatically. The nice thing about these components is that they resize without any kind of distortion. The problem with regular door components is if you scale them to fit in an opening, not only the door, but also the frames or any hardware will also resize and distort. With these dynamic components, only the parts of the component that are supposed to resize, like the door or the glass in the windows, resizes, while frames and other objects stay the same size. All you have to do is take the objects, drop them in the opening, and then use the scaling options to size the objects to your opening. In addition, all the objects are fully customizable as dynamic components, allowing you to adjust things like depth, height, frame size, whether doors are open or not, number of panels in windows, and more. The tools in this toolset currently include doors, windows, trapezoidal windows, slat openings, and a flex panel, which can be used to create different panel effects within your models. In addition, new components are being added all the time. You can toggle the option for cutter to turn on components that cut openings in single faces. At the moment, components can't cut openings in double walls, though my understanding is they're coming out with a tool soon that will do that within flex tools. In addition, Flex Tools also comes with several tools for working with components, including Zapper, which removes dynamic behaviors from objects, Cleaner, which deletes deeply hidden nested geometry, and Plan View, which will turn on and off Flex Tools objects in your model which aren't optimized for 2D plans. When you activate Plan View, all Flex Tools objects get switched to Plan View mode, which means that your objects get optimized for use with the Section Plane tool to create plans in layout. That's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this an extension you're interested in? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.